Good evening everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Yes, this is your Excel Guru back with a new formula uh, called Count If. Yes, uh, Count If is a formula which will allow you to add, uh, to, gi to give you a count of a specific uh, criteria based on a specific condition. Alright? Now, just for example, like uh, we want to count the number of presents. Uh, say, for example, see, this is an attendance sheet for these many agents Pankaj, Amit, Jyoti, Javak, Samir, Rohit, Rahul, Deepak, Mandir, Sid, Sarla, Lakshmi. Oh, we have the two femme fatals over here, Sheila and Muni, too. <laughs> So they have been absent for these many days, okay, <laughs> and they have been actually absent for the complete <laughs> complete time range, okay. <laughs> Maybe they have been out shooting. All right. Uh, okay. Now, see if if out of these many days we want to find out how many days was a specific agent present, or uh, how many days, uh, what was the count of the present for the complete day, or what was the count of presents for this time range for the specific agent. We can do all that uh, with a simple formula called count if. All right, I'll be. I'm going to teach you that formula in two ways. One is my favorite way. The count if formula would be taught uh, using the formula syntax. The second way, the easiest way around, uh, which many people say I I disagree on that, would be by using the formula tab over here and going to the FX feature and doing it. So we'll we'll review that. So let's start with the formula function with the FX feature alright and this I'll also uh, tell you how to copy it so so that it will be a uh, helpful and uh, now say for example uh, we want to know the count the pre the count of peep age uh, school the students present on the 1st of April and the students absent on the 1st of April alright now we can do it very easily by entering the syntax is equal to C O U N T I F F and okay in 2007 you have this wonderful feature whenever you type uh, the name of a formula even the partial name the formulas related to it open up uh, sh uh, start showing below over here and the the explanation for this formula shows count the number of cells between a range that meet the given criteria all right so we'll we'll, we'll give the uh, criteria and the uh, formula over here count ifs i'll teach it also in the next uh, my next training video would be on count ifs Alright, so let's start with count if. Now we want to count if and see it. It it, uh, it shows you range and criteria. So it, the range is highlighted over here. So we need to give in the range. Alright, what is the range that you want to count? Say for example, since we are counting the number of people present and absent on the first of April, so this is our range. Alright, uh, just to brief, just to do brief uh, work briefly upon it. See, uh, this is a cell. C7. If you see C7, why is it C7? C is the column and 7 is the row. You see over here? So this is cell, one cell. A collection of cells is called a range. So that is how we fix the range. Okay, so I fix the range. I'll apply a comma over here and then it uh, says, and, uh, says uh, uh, key enter a criteria. Now the criteria is what you think. Uh, on what basis would you like Excel to count for you? Would you like to count the number of presents or absence? So P is the legend for present. So I'll do a semicolon open, P, semicolon close, and parenthesis close, bracket close, call in Hindi. And you have the answer 7. Same we'll do with absence. Speak along with me. C O U N T I F count F. Paragraph o uh, parenthesis open. It asks me to enter a range, so I am entering this range. Rack comma, parenthesis open, uh, sorry, semicolon open. Now we are counting absent, semicolon close, bracket close, enter, and we have the answer, C77. Seven, seven. Okay, now we can copy the formula. You see, we'll do a control C, and we'll select the range over which we want to copy it, and we'll do a control V. And these are the number of people present on these many days. And the other way of doing it, right click on your mouse, copy, sorry, right click on your mouse, copy, 
select this complete area right click on your mouse and say paste or oh, where did we paste right click uh, this right click of your mouse and paste so we were able to paste it also all right and now I told you I will be teaching you the other way also how to do it say for a specific agents we want to find out how many times was uh, what was the uh, count of presence and absence for Pankaj for for the first for the from the first till the 15th so we'll write P over here a over here and we'll do that counting is equal now we'll do it the formula syntax way other another way around alright let's see how we do it so we'll point our mouse over here we'll go to the formula tab FX tab and we'll type count if C O U N T I F count if we'll click on go and all the formulas related to count if come over here and we'll press OK so the range as I told is the area on which you want to count this is the range I selected what is the criteria criteria is the condition in the form of a number expression or text that defines which cell need will be counted in other ways simply what do you want to count so we'll enter P we are counting P so we'll say OK and this guy has been present for seven days and now we'll count absence so we'll go over, uh, click over on formula again FX feature will choose count if again is equal to I hope that would be clear by you by now to all of you and this time the range is A we'll click on OK and this is it we can copy them together also see I copied it I did paste them and this is the complete answer see it didn't give you an answer over here in these rows why because A's and B, P's are not present over here so we can delete them so this is our answer for counter formula now the sheet that you're looking at uh, this video that you're looking at is available at this video is available at YouTube on my channel uh, I'll show you my channel oh, 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 oh. this is my channel you can subscribe over here and YouTube will inform you whenever there are new videos posted uh, by the way I'm posting a new video every day and thank you for your tremendous response see in I started this channel on the 30th of March today is what uh, I believe 26th of April just within 26 days there have been 577 views without me doing any kind of activity to popularize it so it's great stuff thank you so much all you guys I hope I'm I'm proving helpful to you now yes this is my channel so you can subscribe to it and you can also actually provide your feedback comments over here just provide your comments and I'll be I'll come to know whether what I'm doing is right or wrong you and now the file that you I'm working upon is available for free download on my website yes this is my website I've created this site oh uh, it's going down something has gone wrong right this is my website all right this is my website uh, you can just go to training files page and download the file for free and over here
you can also see that I have my social networking sites links over here so if you like the content do do go ahead and click on uh, and tweet it or go or share it on Facebook if it if you like it at all I would like you to assist me in spreading the word that knowledge is available for free over here let let us share it let's share it so this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning